It's 2024, I'm trying to paint a picture. Comeback season in the making, now we thinking bigger. What's up, my dudes? I'm officially the 04 champ. I've been crowned, aka the biggest Supercross server on Sim, aka this is the most that I've played MX Sim since 2017. Oh, buddies. Oh, buddies. Okay. So, yeah, all I've really been doing is playing MX Simulator for the past, like, four months. That's about all I've been doing, boys. <laughs> We're gonna go in deep in 2024. I'm gonna see if I can race all of the Supercross rounds, all of the Motocross rounds. We're gonna see what we can do. We've changed stuff on setup. We've changed stuff on pretty much everything that you could possibly change. So, things should be a little different this year, okay? Got all of my 2024 Spencer Turley team stuff done. That's what you're seeing right now. The 2024 team bike. Uh, I'll, I'll show you guys the gear and stuff here in a second. But, yeah, man. Uh, been wanting to do this. Been wanting to kind of make a bit of a comeback here on sim just kind of been waiting on rf to start making the tracks better kind of been waiting on everything to come around a little bit you know and it does seem like with the 2023 tracks that they are trending in the right direction we'll see how that goes when we actually get to the 2024 tracks but it does seem like they're at least going down the right road okay so yeah, I also just wanted to talk about sort of my uh, expectations, what I'm thinking I'm going to do, because, you know, you know how the old hater boys like to come out of the woodwork whenever I come back to MX Sim. It's kind of crazy how that happens, but uh, thank you, boys. Uh, thank you for reminding me that I'm not dead in this game, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, boys? Uh, sometimes I, I wonder, like, I've been gone for so long, it's like, do these boys even still remember me? Oh, yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. They can't stop talking shit. Yeah, they do still remember me. Thank you, boys, for reminding me of that. That's awesome. That's sick. I can leave the game for like five years. I'm still the biggest talk of the town of this whole game. Oh, boy. So, yeah, there's going to be, you know, the guys out there that'll try to up the expectation level because they've been seeing what I've been doing in 04, so they'll try to talk like I'm going to go out there and win a main event or Spencer thinks he's going to go win a main event or whatever, right? But honestly, it's really not like that. Uh, my honest predictions for like the 2024 Supercross series, I really, I really don't expect to do anything more than I ever have before, which would be like a, you know, like a top five finish in a main event, that sort of vibe. So we got the team bike right here and the team gear. This is loosely based off of my original 2020 team stuff, but everything's been changed. We got us a cool little ga Galaxy Kawasaki little uh, 2013 Andy Hack. Wanted to go for an old school vibe uh, bike model in the game. I thought it was kind of cool doing something a little different. Uh, you know, everybody and their grandma wants to run like the newest model and the newest this and that in the game. So in typical Spency Boy fashion, I like to do things a little bit differently. Okay, so as far as my expectations, you know, it's yeah, I've been popping off in 04. Yeah, I've been winning races by... 80 seconds in 04, whatever, right? But, uh, you know, you get to those 20-minute main events, and if anybody understands how different that is than some little 8-lap 04 race, it's your boy, okay? I done been there and done that. It's funny when a lot of people like to forget that I've been there and done that before. They like to sweep all that away. Basically, anything that happened pre-2020, these new MX Sim boys like to act like that never even existed or something. I don't know. It's kind of funny. But uh, I done been there and done it. What a lot of y'all boys are attempting to do or you're trying to get to a certain, like, top five RF 450 point, like, I done been there and done that. I know how that is, okay? But I will never claim to be better than what my results have been in the game, okay? You're never going to hear me claim that I'm some 
you know, I'm like, I'm gonna go out there and win a championship, or I'm like the best guy in the game, or I'm like, you know, some podium guy. You're never gonna hear me say any of that. But you will hear me say things like, you know, I've pulled whole shots in 450 main events. I've led 450 main events. I've finished top fives in 450 main events because that's all things that I've done, okay? But yeah, my own personal predictions, you know, everybody's got their crazy ego on sim, yada, 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 whatever. But for me, I mean, especially the first like two or three rounds, I'm just trying to make it to the main event, dog. I mean, that's it, dog. It, it ain't no more complicated than that. I'm not expecting to go out there and just smoke their ass, win the first main event. I'm not expecting to do any of that. Um, you know, I'm looking at it more like it's been since 2017 since I was really super serious into the pro racing of this game. Like... You know, back there when RF shut down, that's kind of when I, my real, like, trying real hard in the pro racing shut down. Because I didn't know what was going to happen with RF, you know. They shut down, they went away, there's all this crazy different track designs, you know, this, that, and another. Uh, but, yeah, 2018 and 2019 for me was literally just a, let's see what they're going to do with the erode system. That wasn't like a let's be super serious necessarily, you know? So 2017 doesn't seem like that long ago to me. Seems like, it, you know, a blink of an eye. Faster you can say Bob's your uncle, but it's been what? Uh, what is that? Like seven years ago? I mean, it's been a minute at this point. It has definitely been a minute since 2017. So it's going to take me getting back in there and racing main events in Supercross and feeling how that feels again, running 20-minute races. It's just a whole nother animal, and I, I totally understand that. That's why I'm not out here saying I'm just going to go out there and podium the first race or I'm going to go out there and win, you know, win some main event or whatever, like, the hater boys like to make it sound like I'm being that cocky or I've, I've got that much of an ego, but that's really not true. Um, for me personally, if I could just top five, get back in that top five kind of main event finish range in the 450 class, I'd be, I'd be happy with that. You know what I'm saying? That's like just trying to get back to where I once was in the game. That's all I'm really expecting to be able to do. You know, anything past that would just be like extra. But just trying to get back that top five kind of level, that's really it at the end of the day. You know, being completely honest with you, it's probably going to take me a handful of rounds before I'm even back up in that top five kind of position. That's honestly what I expect. Like, I'm probably going to make a few main events, miss a couple main events, might get a top 10 in a main event, but it's going to take me like at least probably five, five main events before I get back in that comfortable racing 20 minutes, you know, seeing what the erode's going to do, yada, 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 all that, right? Before I can even really, you know, get back to that kind of top five level, right? Um, so that's where I'm at, but it, it has certainly been the most preparation for a season that I've done since 2017. I didn't even race in 2022, 2021, barely raced in 2020. I raced like one Supercross race in 2023. Like I made it to the main event, but, uh, you know, it was kind of lackluster finish on that. So it's just, it's been a while since I've consistently consecutively sat there and race like back-to-back -back main event weekends you know in the game like it's been a while it's been a long while it's been a really long time it don't seem like it's been that long but it's been a long time so that's why i'm not really expecting too much out of it in that sort of a sense um but you know, with the lap times that I'm running on some of these tracks, mid or road, like, I feel comfortable enough to, you know, get out there in the main event and, you know, at least be able to get some top 10, something like that. You know, if, if the start clicks and, you know, we start vibing on a level, you know, should be able to get some top fives, might even get a little better than a top five, but yeah, 
that's what I'm shooting for. And then we'll just see where we're at and then go from there, you know. But I, I do predict the first couple rounds probably going to be a little rough just because of not really pro racing and supercross in so long. Um, you know, it certainly uh, will put you back a, a peg if you uh, haven't done that in a minute because it's just a different level. It's a different pace. It's a different race. It's a different anybody can win an 04 race. You know, you start stacking them laps on, you, you know, the the. You got to stay on it for 20 plus whatever laps on a track. That's another level. You know, that's that's what makes MX Simulator Pro Racing at the 450 class level so cool and skill gapped is the fact that it's 20 plus laps. So that kind of weeds out all the guys that can't stay on their bike for more than five laps. It kind of, you know, really separates the men from the boys, right? So... We're going to see what we can do. Obviously, Spency Boy going to give it his best shot that he possibly can. Um, I got a lot of team guys racing AMs. I got some team guys racing 250 Pro. I'll be uh, be involved with that. That'll be fun. But, uh, yeah, uh, this, is, this is the biggest comeback I've made on Sim, like I say, since 2017. Uh, as far as how much I've been playing it. I mean, it's been pretty much nonstop, bro. So, the game's just as fun as ever. Um, looks like RF's starting to get these tracks a little better. You know, everything's kind of coming around a little bit. I got fast internet, you know, there are all these things coming around that's making this possible, uh, making this worth my time again to actually try to do this shit. So, yeah, that's where all this is coming from. You know, we'll see what we can do, bro. But either way, boys, I appreciate all the support. Uh, we're going to get back into live streaming, uploading the videos like crazy. We're going to get back into doing all that. Uh, just took a little break there at the end of 23, kind of get geared up for 2024, you know what I'm saying? So that's what we did, bro. Uh, got got the time put in. Uh, got the got everything put in that I need to do to, to try to do what I need to do in 450 Pro Racing, you know what I'm saying? So I'm excited for it, ready for it, ready to rock and roll. So yeah, boys, uh, be on the lookout for it. Should have some cool pro race videos, some more different kind of sim videos and stuff coming out. We're trying to bring it all back around, man. This is the 10th year. It's been one decade since I started playing MX Sim. I thought that too just was kind of like a wake up call for me. Like, okay, you know. It's, it's been a long time since I've got top fives in this game. It's been a long time since I was on that, you know, that upper echelon kind of level. And when you go a certain amount of time without doing it, you, you gotta, you gotta show everybody that you can do it again. You know what I'm saying? Everybody starts to think you can't do it. Think that, you know, it kind of like you're, you're only as good as your last race type shit. So just feel like it, it's it's that time again. It's that time for me to go in here and show everybody the Spency Boy still got it. Show everybody the Galaxy Boy still got it. You know, it's that time, bro.